Mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to my blind playthrough of the DLC for Remnant 2 that I keep on forgetting the name of. I think it's Dark Horizons. They ambushed me with this one. I didn't actually realize this was coming out whatsoever. Gunfire Games literally ambushed me with this one and I didn't have to pay for it, I don't think, which is pretty awesome. We're basically going through this uh, side dungeon. I expect I, this is blind again. And we're kind of like trying to figure out what the hell is going on with the gigantic what is it a black hole up in the up in the sky i'm gonna kind of like spin around so i can see any secret rooms or anything like that as we crawl up here uh nope none there is a thing here what is this right we found an infinity pocket Ooh la la an infinity pocket what does it do let's see so we'll probably get rid of the Ring of Diversion if we can. Reloading an empty magazine refills 10% of the stowed weapon's maximum ammo. When stowed weapon is full, the amount applies to the primary weapon instead. Oh. Oh, that's actually... Let's give that a go for a while. That actually sounds pretty damn nice. Gotta be said. Because the only issue that we have with our main gun is that it kind of sucks. It doesn't have a lot of ammo. It's a good DPS weapon, I think, over time. But it's, it's not great. Just as kind of like a... Um, an ammo efficient weapon gotta be said not amazing on that front i want to go there i know we can't because it's not on the map but i want i want to go there i want to actually go up there and i want to i want to colonize this entire planet i suppose anyone in here we're about to find out i see a special what the hell is that oh hey buddy he's spraying caustic soda at me excellent okay i outran it what is that it had a different like health bar Okay, this thing as well as in here as well. So, if anybody is here from my original Remnant 2 series or any of the DLCs... Oh, I knew it! You'll be very, very upset to see that all of my mods have broken. Okay, good. And now we want to fire at that thing. Whoa, dodge away from that. And I'm going to keep consistent D-O-T, that's damage over time, on this thing. Let's actually fire a special at it, because it seems to actually hit like a truck. Oh, there's a thing over there as well that we can potentially... Damn it. There's something inside of there. What? Really? Seriously? Oh my god, I killed the things inside of this gigantic observation chamber. How the hell did I do that? I actually see there's an item in the middle of there as well. <laughs> well said, Scarby. Uh, she's not very eloquent. Gotta be said. She's not a very eloquent person. And everything that she says is usually just overwhelmingly dumb. Just, just nonsense and dribble. There's a hallway. There's a hallway that allows us to go straight into the middle. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a shield. Ah, okay. We'll use that Tesla gun on them then. Uh, they are not very resistant to electricity damage, it seems. What is this? A crop sample. Great. We've got a crop sample. I'm not really seeing a lot here that makes Narud fit in with the rest of the story, right? There's one area we didn't go through here. Okay, so there's one more little zone that we can go through on this side. I feel like this might be a side dungeon. I don't know if I like it or not, because it's not really giving us anything to work with. From Oh, hello there! From like a law perspective. But what it is giving us is a pretty good amount of experience. And by experience, I mean like mental acuity. Ah! Okay, good. I dodged both of those. Whoa, this guy's getting railed. Let's not get hit by his gigantic Resident Evil 7 special attack. How does that sound? Whoa, that's a bad, that's a bad thing to be close to. Gotta reload our gun now. Okay, Doggo's aggroed him, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and fire one of these at him. A little bit of a desert storm to wet his whistle. Well, dry his whistle, I suppose. Ah! Okay, good. And keep on crushing it. Nice. So, if anybody is not here, again, from the original Remnant series that I did, we do have the kind of, like, secret items from the back rooms. We've got the bisected ring, which gains infinite stamina, and we take 15% increased damage. But to not have to worry about a whole bar in the game about stats, that is pretty OP. And we also have the Gunfire Games Lanyard, which we aren't using. We're actually using the Energized Neck Coil, but we do have the Gunfire Games Lanyard is right here. It automatically reloads magazines over time, does not work for single-shot weapons. So, we aren't necessarily going to have to worry about too much of the difficulty. We're also not really playing this on the hardest difficulty either. Okay, I hear monster. Whoa! Really? Ah! So these are actually from the Nerud base game, and they are kind of like little ghosts and spirits and stuff. 
This was one of the little spirits that we found inside of the uh, Event Horizon Easter Egg that I'm absolutely certain was actually an Event Horizon Easter Egg. Let's probe him a couple of times. And he's dead. <laughs> What'd he drop? A little bit of money? Okay, that's fine. That's weird. What does a goat ha ghost have for money? I've got absolutely no idea, but I'm not going to question it, to be honest. Okay. What else is there? There is a little bit of hardened iron over here. Yuck. Absolutely revolting. There is a platform that we could potentially jump over there. Pretty sure we could make that jump as well. If we launch ourselves off. But I don't know if that's actually going to open or not. Oh, hold up. Maybe the seed sample is actually what's supposed to go in that big round thing that we found back at the start of the original map. Time for knowledge. Does that actually give us an additional trade point? No. All of the traits are capped, which means all of my mods have broken, which is a little bit of a shame. Such is life sometimes. At least it doesn't remove a lot of the traits from us. Wait, why are we still going up? Weren't we supposed to be going down to get out of here? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, there's more. Okay. I was hoping there was more, actually. I felt like we blasted through the first bit of that real- What the hell is this? Okay, I am very, very happy to fight whatever is on the other side of that. Ah, oh, checkpoint. It is a boss fight. Nice. Is it going to be like a, a giant spirit? I kind of see something over there. It is a spirit. Okay, so we've got a spirit boss fight right there. Let's go ahead and do a rest right here to recover all of our ammunition and a lot of our other stuff. I think we're probably going to get rid of this gun that we're using for now. It's actually... I like it. Oh, no, we didn't actually want to leave the area. Whoops. But this will give us a chance to upgrade the gun. Let's upgrade our equipment right here. So this thing right here, the monolith, this is a bit of an ass kicker. To be quite honest, to be quite honest, I'm going to dump points into it. I actually really like this thing. It's the Yasha gun. Okay, good. I don't even care what it costs. We've got the resources, I'm certain of. Oh, okay. Great, so now it does three times more damage, which is absolutely going to make a massive difference while we're going through this DLC here. Okay, I'm just going to blast through this entire zone as I kind of did before, so you guys don't have to miss out on too much of the actual content that I'm going to be uploading to the YouTube. So I will see you in just a little while. Jesus, that is potent. We can probably even just ignore everybody at this point as well. Yeah, let's do that. Ow, what the hell? Stop! Cease! Okay, I think ignoring the enemy is probably not the way. That attack they did, just did is very unusual because it had a lot of labyrinthine effect. So is that what we're looking at? So what I'm kind of like getting at here from a law perspective is potentially that maybe the labyrinth spilled over into Nerud as kind of like a contingency plan to stop Nerud from spilling over to anywhere else. Because maybe something's here that we don't want here. Damn, that is potent. I actually love this weapon skill. I love how it follows enemies around. That is so cool. God, I love that. I love this game so much. Gunfire Games are one of the most innovative companies that I've seen to put out games in the last, like, four years. Never hurts to be certain. Never hurts. Okay, we've made it. Now, there is something that I should point out which is that this gun might not actually be the right tool for the job. This gun has a special that puts out a sandstorm, and that sandstorm can follow enemies around, and when it kills an enemy, it goes and seeks out a new enemy. But the issue with this is that the sandstorm, I don't think it leaves the ground, ever. So maybe that's not the tool we want to use. If we screw this fight up once, we'll go with the Lesbian gun, and I'm pretty certain that we'll be able to pull a clutch really really easily too okay here we go we're entering it here they come give us a cutscene nice hey buddy what's good oh my god he's got adhd that's what it looks like when a ghost has adhd but the... oh come on no i was so actually no we can use special against this guy so i imagine if we break his body we're going to dump him out of his body that is so cool I actually adore that. Oh, Nerudian Reaper. Right, that's what it, what they're calling themselves now, I see. Whoa, that is a different damage type. Cool. Okay, 
dodge that, of course. I'm putting all of these spikes into him. Had a little bit of frame drop there, unfortunately. Oh! Oh, this guy can... This guy can move around! He can move! Okay, what is he? Oh my god! That was so close. We almost just bit the dust on that one. Whoa! What is going on? Oh, is he like making a bunch of these webs to trap us in or something? Whoa, okay. I think he actually is. Ah, uh, we still took a little bit of damage anyway. Okay, so... We gotta reload. Uh, we are halfway to getting our... Oh my god, damn it! I got hit by one of those, unfortunately. We are halfway to getting ourselves our special, which actually does a truckload of damage against these guys. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's not, that's definitely not good. Okay. I did not get that second jump in there. Doggo is getting us up, which is awesome of him. Yeah, I, I'll say. Okay. Oh, we didn't want to be hit by any of those. I'm using a dragon up. I didn't get the actual heal there. I'm going to use it again while he's screaming. Excellent. We actually did get the big attack off on him and it's still sticking as well where'd he go oh there he is no he's not where is he is that over there what the hell is going on brother brother where you are is that over there i think that was kind of like him a little bit that was close whoa okay and here he comes right we're getting pretty damn good at this guy actually gotta be said okay gonna keep on rolling through because we have unlimited stamina and i friends Whoa! Hello there, friendo! That is a big chance. Oh, hello! Oh my god. Okay, uh, get away from that. This is a hectic fight! This guy is something else! Good crazy! Okay, I rolled into those. Perfect. Perfect shooting me. Uh, we probably want to go around and uh, get hit by that. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm... Oh, I wanted to use a dragon heart. Let's use a dragon heart anyway. Good. We got it off. Perfect. Alright, he's off as well. Damn it. Okay. It's kind of like uh, making more of these bloody whips. Okay, this is just getting obnoxious. This is so cool. I've never seen a ghost spider before in my life. It is very, very intuitive. Oh! oh, oh wee, wee. You got me talking like Super Mario here. Okay, we need to fire off our special right there. Uh, what the hell happened? Ah! Oh my god, I- oh, Cease! Cease your incessant jumping, gigantic ghost spider! For a ghost crab, maybe? Oh, okay. Uh, let's actually do a heal real quick. Hopefully he won't gank us. He did not gank us. Lucky. Lucky for us. I am now going to start using the old Tesla gun, I think. Never mind, he's actually at a pretty long range. So, don't really have much of a choice. To be honest. Okay, there he is now. Now we gotta run around in circles. We've got no ammo for that gun right there. Whoa! Nice. You gotta duck into those. Okay. Good. Oh no! I was just about to kill him! We need to be a lot more on top of using the uh, spikes to slow him down, I think. I think that is actually the strategy we should be using, which is taking this gun right here and hitting him immediately with it okay good and let's fire a, a, a big sandstorm at him is that a jump yes it is all right good he is feisty he's a feisty attacker i don't even know what kind of damage type that is to be quite honest is he gonna do a jump nope damn we've got his health down real low as well okay good uh you're gonna start firing at him from here. Okay, he's kind of like boxed us into a bit of a corner, unfortunately. Is he doing a jump? No, he's just doing a, an annoying ass charge. Oh no! Oh, who's? I'm rolling, I'm panic rolling. I don't know what's happening. Okay, good. We've got a little bit of distance between us. Go roll into them, good. Excellent, and there he is. Ow, that one hurt real bad. Uh, never get hit by the second one though. All right, let's regenerate some health by doing a heap of damage. Good, 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 good. We can actually fire off an attack now. All right, is he gonna jump? No, jump into it, damn it! Ah, oh, this is tricky, actually. He's at half health now, so we're probably actually gonna bait him into doing the 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 old the old dirty trick of uh, putting web everywhere, right? 
Okay, we've got to reload this gun, apparently. And another. No, thank you. You can keep that one, buddy, old pal. Okay, now he's probably off to do his big old attack, right? His big old web spinning. So let's go ahead and take this opportunity to, like, grab a bunch of the ammunition around the place. Good. And here next. Excellent. I'm keeping consistent damage over time on him. And now he's going to do a big old jump. And he whipped it. Okay, jump sideways! Oh my god! He did a 180! And he killed us with it! I do not know what damage type he is doing. I literally have no idea what kind of damage type he is doing. If we knew what type of damage he was doing, we would be able to take and consumable that kind of like reduces the efficacy of it. But we don't really have that opportunity ever. Okay, we're just gonna fire a couple of probes right off rip to slow him down. Okay, that was a good act. That was actually a really good attack and we're already effed. Okay, let's restart this fight. <laughs> literally got killed by the opening attack. All right, good. Want to dodge that, of course. And he's going to do his big beam after that as well. I think what he does after this one is the charge. Yes. Yes. No. Okay, we just want to dodge those. We're kind of like keeping a good eye on him to, to learn his attacks now. Okay, we got the ghost a little bit. Pretty awesome. Let's go here. Oh, bugger. Oh, it's a snare, so they slow us down, but they don't actually deal damage. Okay, wait, oh, we picked the wrong direction for this. It did a 180. That's embarrassing. Okay, wow. I can't believe we actually died to that. that Alright. He's spraying around his purple explosive goo. His ghost goo. Into it! Uh, roll into it, good. Ah, yes, dodge that and dodge the next one too. Excellent. There's always a second one, it seems, after the first. So we are doing pretty good. He's doing a scream. That was a shame that we had to reload at that exact moment, to be quite honest. Okay, take all of that. Probably want to get our Tesla gun out now. Okay, he aimbotted me, seriously? Uh, I'm gonna slow him down with these, right here. Okay, stop attacking with it. How the hell did that hit me? All right, good. He is taking consistent damage over time, though. That is awesome for us. Let's reload our Tesla gun right here. We'll get some of this primary ammo. Then we'll wait for him to come in closer. Here we go. There he is. Good. Got him. With a real big hit right there. Draw into it. Good. Yep. Yep, dodge that. And there's always a second one. Good. And we prick him. Excellent. Now we attack to get all of our ammo back or not. That's also something we could do. Okay, this one's basically our kryptonite at, at this point. We want to roll out of that force. Roll into it! Yes, okay, good. We almost just threw the fight right there. And second one, always good. This is hectic. This is definitely one of the harder fights that I have faced in this game. Because, okay, we're gonna fire. We're finally firing it. We're finally actually, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. I'm going to take this opportunity to get a lot of our health back because we get health back by dealing damage. And, and he's gone. Nice. Excellent. Uh, is this a jump? Jump into it, please. Thank you. Ah, nice. And another, of course. What the hell? Seriously? Oh, piss off. Look at his health. Okay, that's our only with possible. Okay, our kryptonite is literally here. This ain't good. Oh my god! Fuck! We open with just this, it seems. Okay, we just got absolutely railed by the first attack. That's unfortunate, but we will get our health back up very, very quickly. Uh, want to roll all the way out of that. Might want to start sprinting out of that, actually. Have a little bit more situational awareness, so to speak. Okay, so that's the only time he doesn't double jump at us. And it's gone. So we want to basically sprint out of that. Now, I don't know what, if the red ones are actually crits or if it's something else. It's hard to say. Okay, he's on the wall, which is absolutely fine. Well, I'm going to deal damage to him while he's there because we actually know that he's not going to move, right? Okay, I rolled sideways and we rolled sideways again. Nice. And he's going to detonate. Good. And now he's probably going to jump on us. Or not. 
Let's fire one of these. Excellent. Yes. Yes, sorry. No! Okay, that was really close. That's the a big jump attack. Excellent. And I'm going to spine him a couple of times because he is actually a bit of a pain in the ass. Get out of that attack right there. Keep on attacking right there. And he is gone. I'm actually going to roll through this. Despite the obvious safety hazards. I'm going to reload my gun. And is he on the wall? Yes, he is. It's right there. And here he comes. Nice. So he's actually not that bad realistically. He's not actually too difficult a fight. Given that he kind of like is fairly predictable. And he telegraphs every single one of his attacks pretty well. He's just kind of like, oh, okay, that one really hurt. Whoa, that was close. For some reason I decided to pull out my, um, my melee weapon. Okay, we got to get out of that attack right there. And we are Gucci. Okay, dodge that, of course, and dodge that one, which is right next. And then we fire at him here. Excellent. And now we probably want to get out of the range of this attack right here. We want to generate enough to get another one of these gigantic whirlwinds. Okay, now we want to get into the center of the map right here. Pick up a little bit of ammo as well, I think. Yep, there he is. And here he is. Excellent. And there he is. And as soon as he spawns in, right there, baby. And that's our ticket out of here. Okay, we dodged that. And there's always a second. Good. Nice. This is it. Yes. He was satisfying feet, actually. That was a really cool boss. Oh, I just got the replication oh, pod. Yeah. What the hell is a replication pod? Is that, is that a flashlight? <laughs> That'd be a creative way of saying flashlight. Where's my replication pod? I've been going in all day. I almost missed a chest in here. That was close. All of, oh, we got light extract. That's a new item as well. What does this do? Oh, we also got the crop sample. So that's a quest item. What does this do? You've never seen this plant before. It's warm to the touch and emits an unsettling screeching sound. You're tempted to get rid of the thing, but it can't help thinking there's more interesting use for it. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting rid of it. A small and assuming device that grants its wielder power over gravity itself with a little assistance from a robotic friend. Okay. And this is tiny robots incubate within this artificial egg sack. The larva will train on data from the larger harvester as it performs its duties, then hatch once they are fully operational, fulfilling the completely automated replication cycle. That's just breeding. That's just buggering. Why? Still such a cool area. I don't know why, but Nauru just kind of gives me infinite doomsday vibes. I love it here. I actually love this location. Now, do we come out at the end or do we come out at the start? That is my next question. Where the hell are we now? Where the hell is this? Oh, is this a transit dungeon? Ah, good. Okay, we can see more of the map unless we're about to pop out at the roof of the, the map that we actually came in here from, which would actually suck. I wouldn't like that too much. Press control to crouch. Thank you for the tip, game. Okay, what? Or who? Or how is down here? Any of those three. Oh, this is monorail. So, agronomy sector. This is the same place as before. What the hell is this thing? I'm trying to, like, kill all of these Watma dangles, but they're actually kind of hard to get... get killed. There's another one right here. Boom! Whoops, missed. And... There we go. Okay, got one. Nice. I don't know if that did anything. I don't think so, but I like to think that it did, actually. I like to think that I did make a difference somewhere. What the That's hell? Ominous. Oh, this is that guy that was talking to us right at the start, wasn't it? Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! How's it going? Uh. Can we not talk to this thing? I thought we could talk to this thing. Oh, it's encased in a giant bubble. That's unusual. Okay. So that is weird. Do we shoot this off? I'm dealing damage. Oh, here we go. I hear you. What's good? Uh, ignore him and it'll go away. I don't think so. My head is killing me. Alright. Sure. So 
This guy screams Labyrinthian, but he's also got a lot of the kind of like Nerud aesthetics as well. Because all the like quick twitchy bits, that is definitely reminiscent of the Labyrinth. Did you just read my thoughts? It's an acceptable reduction of what is taking place. The carbon based life form is experiencing a surge of anger amid waves of non lethal pain. It feels violated, trapped, murderous, most fascinating. I discern no separation between the internal and external worlds, time and space, energy and matter, within and without. All are one, and all are laid bare before me. Yet I am unaccustomed to reciprocative communication. Of my existence, this is an anomaly. My consciousness has been subtly altered by my convergence with the Drizia. I must understand the cause. To achieve this understanding will require further observation and interaction. You will assist me with this. So this guy kind of gives me the same vibes that I've gotten off of people who try mushrooms for the first time. And then suddenly the whole world is awakened and they understand everything. But they're tone deaf to every single thing around them and uh, all they do is kind of like steal from their friends and family uh, so that they can buy more psychedelics so that they can be uh, more at inner peace with themselves. Which is really just kind of like... This guy's just a, a, a drugged out hippie. I will point out that there are some birds that refuse the sky, and one of them is actually, here in New Zealand, a national icon. It's the kiwi bird, it's flightless. That is a bird that rejected the sky. Do you know about birds? I scanned your mind for an applicable metaphor. The one chosen is an appropriate likeness to your present situation. When I have no first hand knowledge of birds, I now know as much about them as you do. Okay. Uh. What's your favorite kind of bed? I am unmoved by the frivolities of the material world, and therefore cannot provide an answer. Before the <gasps> conclusion of this interaction, do you have any questions you would like to voice? Yeah, have you ever seen a uh, starlet? A speckled starlet? They look really, really nice. Why not read my mind? It unnerves your fragile psyche when I react to your unvoiced words, and so I am refraining from doing so for the time being. Speed, traveler. Who are you? My consciousness is beyond your meager understanding. Exposure to the full brunt of it will terminate your material form. Wow. It's full of yourself, aren't, aren't you? What are you? I exist at the juncture of time and space, where the bottomless void of uncreation entwines with the boundless expanse of eternity. Look, we're not comparing goddamn Whitechapel lyrics. You just tell me what you are. Alright, fine. What did you do to the ship? Preserved a small portion of it. Why? I have no answer to provide. I thought we knew everything. If you have further questions, speak them now. Okay. Where is everyone? You mean the Trisira. They have crossed into the beyond. Leaving their mortal forms and the lingering remnants of the regrets behind. Ah, oh, he's in remnants! They know what you have yet to accept. The convergence with my consciousness was their true fate. They believe that within my grasp, they would find their creator. Did they succeed? It is not for you to know what lies beyond. Not until your own time arrives to cross the event horizon. Got that one straight off, Rip. We, we actually called that one. The Event Horizon is the, the, the thing around the black hole. Uh, we called that one in the first couple of minutes of getting here. This is madness. This is walking an endless trail of death to save a planet destined to be swallowed by a star. It is searching world after world to save one meaningless life that you are not certain has yet to be extinguished. Are you and the Drizir not one and the same? No. Continue with your questions, traveler. I am made of meat. 
Whereas the Drazir are not. I can't stand the pain any longer, apparently. This interaction has provided sufficient data. You have reached the limits of your utility. I will now commence the convergence. Woo! Convergence! But I haven't had a chance to kill you! This life form believes it can kill that which isn't alive. Curious. What, like an idea? I can kill an idea. You might learn something from fighting me. That is logical. Though my material manifestation is too powerful at present for you to withstand the type of confrontation you are seeking. Shouldn't that be my choice, you though? Proceed until your utility is at its end. At that point, your true fate will commence. They should be up to me! Traveler, I will be watching. All right, fine! I think we may have made a bit of a whoopsie in freeing him. I feel like he, uh... I don't know, by the ominous choir of satanic chanting, I feel like we may have, uh, done a whoopsie. What the hell is that? There's like a creature on the inside of there. I feel like we, uh, may have unfortunately inadvertently caused, uh, what many would call to be a... an oopsie daisy. Y uh, a bad. A big bad. I think we've done a big bad. Unfortunately. Spare horns. Repair lab. Yeah, I'll get you to the repair lab! My god, this guy doesn't shut up about the repair lab, does he? My god. He's like one of those car boys. You ever heard of a Nissan Skyline? Yes! Everyone has! It's where people who don't understand finance uh, keep all of their money. We've basically seen everything that I had time to see in this session. So thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Remnant... Fuck, what is it called? The Dark Horizon DLC. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my live channel. Why not go sub to that? And also a link to my Discord, where you can reach out to me and my community whenever you damn well please. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch one of my streams, I will be seeing you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And for me at least, it is lights out.